Hello viewers, this is Wagadaru now taking you through this tutorial on how to calculate quantity index numbers or price indices. So in quantity index numbers, we use quantities instead of weights as seen in the previous lesson of weighted index numbers. And there are three types of quantity index numbers, namely value index, last prey price index, and past che price index. So if PB and PC denote the prices in the base and current years, while CHUB and CHUC denote the quantities in the base and current years, then for value index will involve all the three, all the four, the price in the current year, price in the base year, quantity in the current year, and quantity in the base year. So and it's given by the summation, numerator will be summation of the price in the current year multiplied by the quantity in the current year for all the items and sum them up. The denominator will be the price in the base year multiplied by the, the, by the quantity in the base year for all the items and sum it up. Everything after that we shall multiply by a hundred. So that is the formula for value index. For last spray, in this case we are interested in the quantities in the base year. And the, in, in other words, the quantities in the current year are ignored. So there are two types. There is the last spray aggregate price index and last spray average price index. For last spray aggregate price index is given by the formula. Numerator will be summation of the price in the current year multiplied by the quantity in the base year for all the items and sum it up. Denominator will be price in the base year multiplied by the quantity in the base year for all the quantities, for all the items, and sum them up. Everything multiplied by 100. Then last spray average price index is given by the formula. Numerator will be the ratio of the price in the current year to the price in the base year multiplied by the price in the base year times the quantity in the base year for all the items and sum it up. Denominator will be price in the base year multiplied by the quantity in the base year for all the items and sum it up. Everything multiplied by 100. But there's something you should realize here that if this and this can cancel and remain with PC and Chub B. So when you remain with PC and Chub B, you come up with P this. PC times Chub B. And when you compare it with this, you realize that this, they are the same formula. So what does it imply? It implies that last spray aggregate price index and last spray average price index both formulas give the same result and therefore you can compress them into one single formula and to be last spray price index given by the summation of the price in the current current year multiplied by the quantity in the base year for all the items and sum it up that will be the numerator denominator will be the price in the base year multiplied by the quantity in the base year for all the items and sum it up that will be the denominator Everything multiplied by 100. So whether they say last spray average price index or last spray aggregate price index, we shall use this formula. Then the last formula is, and the last index number is past share price index. And in this case, we ignore the quantities in the base year and we look at the quantities in the current year. So past share aggregate price index given by the formula, numerator will be price in the current year multiplied by the quantity in the current year for all the items and sum it up. For the denominator it will be price in the base year multiplied by the quantity in the base year for all the items and sum it up. Everything will be multiplied by 100. Past year average price index given by the formula numerator will be ratio of the price in the current year to the price in the base year multiplied by the price in the current year times the quantity in the current year all the items and sum it up. Denominator will be price in the current year multiplied by the quantity in the current year for all the items and sum it up. Everything multiplied by a hundred. So we shall have a look at those, we shall have a look on how those formulas are used in the following problems. So in this case we are given the commodities A, B and C bought by a certain company in Imbali. So these are the commodities, these are the prices in 2013, prices in 2016, quantity in quantities in 2013, and quantities in 2016. And the question says, using 2013 as the base year, calculate Roman 1, the value index, Roman 2, 
Rollers Prey Price Index Roman 3, Pass J Aggregate Price Index, and Pass J Average Price Index. So in this case, we just start with the value index. Value index contains all the four: the price in the best year, price in the current year, quantity in the best year, and quantity in the current year. Remember, it's given by the formula PC times to C over PB times to B. So you have to get the product of PC and to C for all the items, which is this, and also get the product of PB times to B for all the items, which is that. Now this summation means you add everything up, so you have to add all these values to get one six four thousand shilling, one six four thousand. And also this means you add all the items for this to get 408,500. So this will be the numerator which is that and this will be the denominator which is that. Everything will apply by 100 to get 249.09. That will be the value for value index. Roman 2 they wanted the last pre price index. So in this case we need the column for PC and Chubby and also a column for PB times 2B. So this is a column for PB 2B, column for PC 2B. So when you add all these values, how, this, how is this column generated? For PC 2B, you will get this times this will give you that, this times this will give you that, this times this will give you that. For PB 2B, this times this will give you this, this times this will give you that, and this times this Sorry, this times this will give you that. So when you add all these ones, you'll get 164000, and that will be our numerator. Then also add these ones up, it will be 315000, and that will be our numerator. Everything multiplied by 100, and you come up with 192.07. So that will be our value for last pre price index. Roman 3, they wanted past J, aggregate price index. So in this case, we need a column for PC to C and PB to C. So this is a column for PB to C, which is the numerate denominator. This is a column for PC to C, which is the numerator. So when you sum all these ones up, you get this. Sum all these ones up, you get that. So this will act as a numerator and this as our denominator. When you use a calculator, you shall come up with 198.30. And that will be the value for pass J aggregate price index. And lastly, they want pass J average price index. It's given by this formula. So I need a column for PC over to B times PC to C. When you see this, we shall come up with PC and PC. PC and PC gives you PC squared. That is why you have here PC squared times to C over PB. And the denominator is PC to C. So that's why I have we have this column for PC to C. So for this one, we shall come up, we shall get this times this to give you that, this times this to give you that, and this times this to give you this. For this column, we need to get PC square it, then multiply by 2C, and everything will be divided by PB. So this squared times this, divide by that, you'll get this. Do the same, this squared times this, divide by this, you'll get that. Do the same. This square times this, divide by this, you'll get that. So when you sum all these ones up, you'll come up with this value, which will act as our numerator. Sum all these ones up, you'll come up with this value, which will act as our denominator. So everything multiplied by 100, you'll come up with 200.46. So that is our value for past J average price index. And that brings us to the end of this lesson. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, Roa e-learning platform.